Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath series. And in the video, in this video, we show you that how we can make the job setup of that one component. The pre in the previous video, we show you that how we can create that one component, and we show you a complete machine simulations video where we show you that how we can make a different number of toolpath and what are the sequence of these toolpath. We show you that how we can make these toolpath separately on a left hand spindle, right hand spindle, and how we choose the toolpath, which toolpath we have to perform from the upper stream and which toolpath we have to perform with the help of a lower stream. So this is our exercise number sixth part two and in this video as I told you we show you that how you can make the job setup in a Milton. For your reference I would like to tell you job setup is a very important part of Milton when we are talking about the Milton because in a job setup we have to define different multiple number of options and multiple number of parameters and it's a heart of Milton. If you are not set up a proper job set if you are not setting a proper job setup so that time you will get a lot of issue when you are doing the programming when you are trying to simulation and we are when we are trying to make NC outputs so before all this avoiding all the issues and all these things you must have knowledge of job setup and all the parameters that of the job setup so now let we have to start these things so in this for creating of that one component the machine which we are using that machine name was LX LTZ. What is the reason that machine is known as LTZ? So let me show you the first the machine housing. Have a look. This is a complete machine housing, and as you can see right at here, this machine have this machine is known as LTZ. No reason behind this machine is called LTZ is this machine a lower turret is can rotate in the z axis that's the reason this machine is known as ltz and now let we have to first for create that one component and when we have to start to create that one component toolpath the first step is we have to select a master cam milton module the proper machine so for proper selection of this machine we have to came in a machine we have to click on a Milton and there are the multiple number of different machines are available but we have to choose the machine which is known as LTZ. In a multiple different number of videos we are already learned about the different machine like as a LTX, like as a FANUC, a generic lathe, like as a double spindle DS, like as a TT and in this video we show you that how we can create a toolpath with the help of LTZ. So for creating the toolpath with the help of LTZ we have to just click on the machine. Once I select the machine so uh, one new window is blinking right at here and once it blinking so first thing that we have to define the parameter of work holding work holding it means the device which we are using to hold our workpiece and device that device is known as a chuck spindle and jaws so if you want to make some parameter or edit some parameter for the chuck as well as jaw for the left hand spindle as well as the right hand spindle you can make the double click and you can make the changes of these parameters if you want to make some changes parameter or add the study rest so you can double click on here and you can add the study rest after that let we have to came on the heart of mastercam milton job setup and that is known as a setup type in a setup type there are the two major options that we have to define here the first is known as the initial spindle and second option is known as a part handling in initial spindle means that what uh, where my raw material will be handling when we start to perform that operations and the sequence so that time in which area we want to hold the workpiece at the initially so that that is called initial spindle and that can be we can choose the left hand spindle as well as the right hand spindle for that one component we are choosing that one as a left spindle so that's why we choose that in left spindle and if you want to choose right hand spindle so you can choose that as well after that we have to define the part handling so in a part handling there are the multiple number of different options are available right at here and these op these are options we can choose according to the our machine availability according to our workpiece and our job as well as the raw material as well as so basically there are two different kind of options are available first is the continuous which we are using when you have bar feeder kind of machine and then, then next is a single piece of stock when we have a single piece of stock and also we can choose uh, two separate parts it means uh, where, where, uh, here 
we can create a tool path on the left hand spindle and right hand spindle on two different number of and different parts at the same time so we show you on one exercise on that one also but the, on the few of previous video we already show you that how we can choose where we have to choose a single piece of stock a no pick up for when we have a single a left hand spindle only after that we show you that how we where we can choose a single piece of stock pick up in exercise number two up in the exercise number three i show you that where we have to choose single piece of stock pick off cut off if you don't have knowledge about it i would like to suggest you go and watch and learn all the exercise first second and third where you get at uh, these things in a detail after that i have to came on the next step and that is known as in the exercise number fifth i show you that how we can select or how we can define the value of single bar stock pick off stock pull and cut off what is the meaning and in this exercise again i am going to use the same option stock bar continuous bar stock pick off stock pull and cut off what is the meaning of that it means uh here we have a continuous rod and in this continuous rod when we have to we have to first a uh, right hand spindle have to came on the proper position once it take a proper position it have to hold the a uh, component it have to be pull over work piece so as you can see first it will pick up the work piece after that it will pull the work piece outside the spindle and after that from the top side or uh, from the uh, spindle side from the upper stream side one of my parting tool came and that will perform the cut off operation or we can say the parting operation and that time my part is going to be uh, separate from the raw material as well as the real component so that's the complete option operation that we have to perform so when how my part is going to be part hardly handling from the left hand spindle to the right hand spindle so according to that we also have to always choose that parameter so once i define that parameter after that we have to define few more parameter like as in a left hand spindle we are uh, we are choosing the part in a left hand spindle so that's why we have to define the part geometry in the left hand spindle and here i define the part once i define the part so according to that it will automatically create a raw material and after that we have to create a create a turn profile create a turn profile helps us a lot when we are doing the programming and selecting different number of chains once i do that one thing after that we have to came in a bar stock in a bar stock we have to define the raw material so that's uh, really important in a bar stock when you are defining a continuous point kind of a uh, continuous kind of things so that time it autom it always set that your raw material is in a bar so how many components you want to make according to you can if you once define that so according to that it will take a total number of length of raw material so after that we have to define the outside diameter it automatically detected as per the model after that you have to define the raw material for extra stock and the raw material for the face as well as the raw material for the extra stock for the back side so as you can see here we already define all these things step by step and after that we have to came in a tool plane horizon when we have to came in a tool plane horizon it means how we want to make a offset on that one point so for example we are holding the work piece with the left hand spindle so it means we are taking the offset on the right hand face on this one face and after that we have to came in stick out stick out means the parameter or the value where my work piece is going to be holded how how much length my work piece is holding in the left hand spindle that point we have to define that is known as stick out so we have to click on this point and we have to say uh nearest just say okay and that's perfect now we have to came on a right hand spindle parameter in the right hand spindle the same thing how my work piece is going to take uh, offset on all the position and after that i have to came on a pick off once i select or click on a pick off we have to say distance from chuck face what is the meaning of distance from chuck face it means uh once my right hand spindle came to the holding of my work piece to take on a right hand side so what is the position where it work piece is going to be hold so we have to define that one position right at here so i have to just click on this and just set this position and after that when my cutting or cut off operation is going to be used so that time which tool we are going to select that we have to define it right at here so there are the multiple different arm kind of tools are available but for the parting purpose we am you going to use od cut off right hand tool and just say okay if you have want to make a custom tool or different kind of tool you can make the new tool as per your requirement 
so all these things always keep in mind all these things are very important and you always have to select all these parameters when you are doing create any kind of Milton component with the help of continuous bar draw so I hope you guys get understanding about all these things if you have any question or doubt you can go and ask us on the comment section we are trying to best to give your answer so I hope you learn a lot of new thing in this video I would like to suggest each and every single person that keep learning keep growing in your career and all the best